Hey guys, it's Sean Major Chess here. Today we're going to be talking about how to overclock your GPU so you can get the best performance possible. So, before I start the video, I just want to say all of this is completely safe. And um, I know there's a lot of people scared about overclocking. But this is completely safe, um, it's all done within the MSI Afterburner uh, application. Um, we're not actually tweaking any voltages, we're only moving around uh, limits and like clock rates. So since we're not actually changing any voltages, uh, there's no way you can damage your system. Okay, so without further ado, you want to come to this website, link in the description to here, click on the Downloads tab, Download Afterburner, and Download Combustor. When you click on Combustor, um, it'll take you here, you just click Download, and then when you click on Afterburner, it'll just automatically download. So then basically what will happen is you will uh, you know, install both of those and you'll get something looking like this. So um, let me just run you through this quickly. This is your GPU clock, this is your memory clock number, this is the heat of your GPU, and then um, if we enabled voltage, which we're not going to be doing because you need to be a bit more experienced for that, and um, I don't want to do a tutorial on it because everyone GPU is different, and I don't want to be responsible for someone cranking it up too high and ruining their GPU. But this cannot happen in this guide as we're not dealing with voltages. So everything is completely safe. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is click reset, just in case anything was higher than it should have been. And then you want to click on this and uh, auto. And you want to um, make sure you can set this to as high as possible. So um, like if you can set it to 100 and bear the noise, then that's fine. Um, since I'm recording a video, I'm only going to leave it at about 70, but uh, most fans are okay with having it at about 85 and still be uh, fine audio levels. So then the next thing you want to do is click on uh, Start Up, and you want it to look like red. So this is what you want it to look like. This basically means it'll apply the overclock on Start Up. Um, you know, so you don't have to come in and do this every time. Then you want to go into settings and you want to set this to start uh, with Windows and start minimized. You want to have those ticked and then you basically just want to press OK. So then the next thing you want to do is set the power limit and temp limit to the maximum. Uh, this will be 116 or 120. Uh, it just depends. Normally, the fire, the higher fan limit you set, um, it'll let you get a bit more, but um, it's not doing that for me. Sometimes I can get 120, so I'm gonna set that back to 70. And now the first thing we're gonna do is core clock. So you want to begin with a uh, core clock. What you want to do is you want to open up the combustor, and you want to put this next to it, and then you want to increase this by 40, and press enter. So basically what you're looking for here is any crashing, any stuttering. By the way, if it crashes or stutters, that's completely normal, that's fine. You know, it's nothing to worry about. If your screen goes black for a second, that's fine. It's just your um, graphics card resetting. It's nothing dangerous. So you can see that 40 is fine, so we're going to step it up by another 40 to 80. As we see, 80 is fine as well. So we're going to set this up to 120, 120 is fine. By the way, if you cannot get this high, then um, don't worry, you know, um, every GPU is different. So, you know, if you could only get to 40 and then you crashed on 80, then that's fine. But keep watching because there are more steps to come. So then we're going to go up by another 40 to 160. Observe it for a second. As you can see, there's still no crashing. 
So we're going to go to 200. Enter. Seems to be absolutely no stuttering or crashing yet. So we're going to go up to 240. Press. So as I, as I use Shadowplay, my recording actually cut out there. So as you can see, um, 240 is the limit we can get to. So we want to click reset here. Uh, go back and put the fan feed to what you could before and set the power limit to what you could before and then press enter. So it crashed somewhere between 200 and 240. So we're going to go ahead and set this to 210. And we're going to open the combustor and press enter. And we're going to see if that crashes. So it looks like it's being fine. So we'll go ahead and set it to 220. See what this is like. I'm not seeing any uh, fidelity. So as we get closer, we're going to go up uh, by increments of 10, not 40 anymore, obviously, because we crashed. So 230. Still seems fine. So we actually crashed there at 230. So we know our rate is somewhere between 230 and 220. So you want to go ahead and reset everything, set the fan limit to what you could, power limit to what you could, and then go to 225. We're going to go up halfway between and see if it works. So we're going to enter that and just see if it freezes or stutters or anything like that. So it seems absolutely fine on 225. Also, again, if you can't get to this um, level, don't worry, it's nothing wrong with your graphics card. Every graphics card is different, you know. So we're going to go to up by 1 to 226. Seems fine. Going to go up by one more, 227. Everything seems fine so far. So 227 is probably okay. So we're going to set it to 228. Press enter. So as you can see there, we crashed on 228. So we're going to reset again. Fan speed, 275. These to max. And then this to 227. We're going to enter that and then we're going to just watch this for a little bit just to check that it definitely is okay on 227 because again we don't want you know our GPU crashing every time we load it so we're going to watch this for about a minute so I'm going to speed the start up so you don't need to watch all that okay so it's been about a minute now and everything's fine so we've reached all the way to 227 for our GPU now we're going to go to memory clock and uh, this is the exact same process, but you want to set it by 100 every time. So, this is just because um, memory clocking is, you can ramp it up a lot more. So we see, we're fine at 100, 200. Two hundred seems fine. I'm going to go to 400 because I know one's strong, but if you know, yours is, if you know you're running on a uh, weaker uh, GPU, just do it by uh, hundreds. I'm going to do it by uh, two hundreds, just for the sake of the video, and just because I know mine can handle it. So, as we see, we're on six hundred, and still no stuttering. So, now that we're further up, I'm going to start going by hundreds again. We see still no stuttering. I'm going to go to 800. Still absolutely no stuttering. I'm going to set this to 900. Oh, 9000, that would not be a good idea. Still 
still, absolutely no soldering. Gonna set it to 1000. Still nothing. 1100. Oh, okay. Uh, I was able to go higher last time, but yeah, as we see, we've hit the 1000 threshold and um, it's absolutely fine. So these are basically green values, 227 on the core clock and 1000 for the memory clock. Um, and as we can see, we're getting a little bit hot, um, but if I wasn't filming I could have this easily at, um, you know, 86, 85. It's just because when I'm filming it does get a bit loud and it means that um, the microphone does pick it up. So I'm going to step that down. Anyway guys, this has been a guide on how to overclock your GPU. If it helps you out, give it a like. If you're new, subscribe. I make uh, a lot of tutorials based around games, how to run them most efficiently and sometimes how to play them. So, I'll see you in the next video. Oh. Oh, 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 oh,